everyone welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna to do something different I've had a lot of subscribers ask me how I keep my unit looking so new well today I figured I would show you guys how we do that and this is from our last ride and for those of you that weren't didn't see the last trail video you can see how muddy it is it's pretty thick on here not real bad but uh, it's definitely muddy and definitely needs a, a complete detail so that we can get it back to looking the way we had it looking before we went riding um, but uh, so we're gonna be doing this today and um, I'll show you uh, the steps that I'm gonna be doing uh, first of all you're gonna need a pressure washer I mean I know everybody knows that and um, I picked up this nice kit from renegade products and we're gonna be using a foam gun today and um, we're gonna see how this works out. This will be the first time I'm using this. Uh, usually I just use the pressure washer, but I wanted to try to foam can it out and see how it works. And then this is what we're gonna use. This is our money shot. This is what we're gonna put in here. We're gonna probably put like two or three ounces in here and then the rest will be water. And then uh, we have some HydroGuard ceramic spray. So we're gonna use this on the plastic, the painted plastic uh, and the windshield. And then this is waterless. This is for when the unit's clean and it just needs a, a, a quick wipe down. You wanna use this waterless. You don't need any water or anything. All you need is a microfiber towel and you just spray it on a towel and wipe it down and it looks brand new again. And then this is our all purpose cleaner. This is what we're gonna spray on it. Um, and then this is our vinyl and plastic. This is what we're gonna use in the wheel wells on the tires, on the boots and everything. It's got to keep it looking fresh and new. And that's what we're going to use on this. And then I had a subscriber, Lakey, send me this all-purpose cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and try that out and see how that works too. So we got that. You're going to need a brush. And then uh, we have some microfibers back here. And then we got a mitt too, a microfiber mitt. And this all comes in the kit with the towels and um, I have some extra towels this is just some stuff that I've been using and then we have some applicators too I don't know if we're gonna be using those today but um, this is all what comes in the kit all this right here so uh, I thought I'd try it out and uh, show you guys how to clean a UTV so um, the first thing that we usually do is we're gonna go ahead and spray all the heavy stuff off first and then uh, we'll put this all-purpose cleaner on there we'll spray that on and each one we do we're gonna have a rinse cycle okay so you're always gonna have a rinse cycle between each step that we use so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get this first pre rinse off and try and get all the heavy stuff off and then uh, we'll show you how to do this Right, so we got this all rinsed off we got all the heavy stuff off um, it looks clean okay but we want to take it to the next level and make it look brand new again so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the renegade all-purpose cleaner okay and we're just going to spray it in the wheel wells and on the suspension okay just make sure we get everything just going to spray on the shocks on the boots, CV boots, tie rods, wherever we can reach, okay? And we're gonna do that on each wheel well, and then we're gonna use the brush just to clean it off, okay? Just like that. We're just gonna go through everything and make sure it's all, the extra excessive stuff is off. And then what we'll do is where we'll do the rinse cycle again okay and we're going to spray the hoses in here the radiator all that stuff 
make sure we get everything and get all that dirt off so we can be ready for the next ride and we're just gonna scrub it and do the tires carnivores are pretty aggressive I don't know if you guys noticed in the last video we didn't have any issues getting stuck anywhere these tires are highly recommend them. very nice we're gonna spray on the calipers let's get everything that we can get and then after we clean it, we'll let it sit for a couple minutes. And then we'll rinse. Just like that. And then what I usually do is I'll uh, clean the front like I did this. And then I'll get the pressure washer and I'll spray it off. And then I'll I'll do the back. That way we we'll make sure we're uh, not letting it dry, because it is a little warm today. So we want to make sure that we don't let that stuff sit on there too long. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll show you the next step. All right, so we got that uh, stage done. Now we're gonna use the foam gun. So we're gonna use this money shot here and probably put in, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three ounces. And then the rest will do water. So. Looks like about it. Okay. I'll just put some water in this. This just screws on right here. And then this has an adjustment right here. So we're gonna find out. That looks like a little stream and it looks like a wide stream that's gonna come out. So we'll turn it on and see. Then we got our mitt. And that, I got a bucket. You really don't need it, but I like to have my my mitt nice and wet. Because like I said, it's pretty hot out here and it's drying real quick. So let's go ahead and get this on here. Alright. Go ahead and start this up and we'll foam it.
comes up pretty good. And now what I'll do, I just did, see that's why I like to have my bucket. Now I'll just go over everything. Use the mitt, just to make sure we get everything. Cause I don't, if you just let it sit and then you just rinse it off, I mean, you're not gonna get everything. This way you know you're getting everything using the mitt. And uh, I think you'll get uh, better results. At least I have. You guys might do it different, but this is how I clean my unit. I like to make sure it looks brand new every time before I go ride. So we're just going to make sure we hit everything. And uh, we'll go ahead and finish this up. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll show you the next step. All right, so we got our next rinse cycle done. So as you guys can see, it's starting to look better and better every stage that we do. So. The next stage is um, we're going to be using this product. It's for vinyl and plastic. This is what's going to, uh, and rubber. This is what's going to make the tires look new, the plastic, um, anything, the hoses, engine hoses, or anything like that. So we're just going to spray it on here. And we're just going to let this all sit on there. I'm just going to spray it all in here. Any, any plastic, any rubber. And this is what's going to make the tires look new. And we're just going to let it sit on there. We can always wipe it off the rims. And uh, she's almost done. We're going to put it on the plastic in here. Anything here. Let's make sure we get a nice coat on it. And I'll wipe it with the microfiber towel on the plastic. That's what's going to make it look shiny. On the tire, I'll just let that dry. Plastic, I'm going to wipe with a microfiber.
This is what's going to bring that new look back. It's starting to look good. And I don't know if you noticed, we took out the windshield. I thought it was just easier to clean. So we'll clean that separately. Because we don't want to scratch that up because that's poly. So we got a special way to clean that up. So we'll go ahead and finish this up and then we'll show you the next step. All right, so we got that step done. As you guys can see, it's looking better and better. Um, check out the interior. Tear is all done. So all the vinyl, the rubber, the plastic is done. And the last thing we got to do is the painted surfaces. And uh, what we're going to use is we're going to use the uh, HydroGuard ceramic spray. And usually what I do is I'll wet this cloth. As you can see, there's watermarks on there right now. So this is going to take all that off of there. You just want to wet the cloth nice. And then you're just going to wipe it on. And you can see, taking off all those watermarks that we had on here from when we first started. And we're just cleaning all the painted surfaces. This is what we're doing right now. This is the only thing that's left on the unit. And I must say, it's looking pretty good. It's probably the cleanest it's looked in a while. But I wanted to show you guys when I do a full detail to my unit. This is what I do. I'll go back and do the bed. The unit does have some brush scratches on it now from the last one, last trail ride, but hey, that's to be expected. These things are meant to be used and not just sit in a garage. So that last trail ride, it was a lot of tree branches hanging down and stuff like that. So we did get some brush scratches on it. But not too bad. It's not like when we went out on that first trail ride and went in that big rut. Had that big plastic damage on the other side of that little rocker panel. And I think the only thing we have left to do is the windshields. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put those back in. And then we'll come back and we'll show you the completed process and you guys can check it out and see what you think all right we are all done so as you guys can see I think it came out pretty good I mean tires look brand new the plastic looks good paint looks good windshield looks good interior check out the interior all brand new looking all this is done all the dashboard is done and uh, I think it came out pretty good what else uh, this is all done back here tires are all done suspensions are all done beds all done and uh, we're ready for the next ride or next mod that we're gonna put on it not sure yet we got some things coming down the road um i hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot of you guys want to know how i clean my unit so now you know how and uh please like subscribe comment down below and tell me what you guys think and we'll see you on the next one